Welcome to Thought for the Day. I was talking to a friend on the phone the other day. I asked her how she was doing and she said, oh, I've got the children at home. I'm trying my hardest to teach them, but some days I can't get them to sit down. I see what other people are doing and I feel as if I've failed. And I remembered a friend of mine used to have a saying, failure is not final. Just because you've had a bad day, it doesn't mean every day is going to be bad. You can have a fresh start tomorrow. And that reminded me of the story of Samson from the Old Testament part of the Bible. You'll find it in the book of Judges. Before he was born, Samson's parents had a visit from an angel who said, this child is going to be very special. You must dedicate him to God. And as a sign of that, he shouldn't have his hair cut, he shouldn't drink alcohol, he shouldn't touch dead bodies, because those things would make him unfit for God's service. Well, Samson was born, grew up, and as a young man, any parent of teenagers would identify with this, he pushed the boundaries a bit. He tried to see what he could get away with, I think. So he did drink alcohol. He did touch, if not dead people, certainly dead animals. But at least his hair had never been cut. And God did bless Samson with enormous strength, such strength that he could fight a lion single-handed and kill it. So, Samson was somebody who God could use to fulfil God's purposes. And one of God's purposes was to get rid of the Philistines, who were another tribe who made life very difficult for the people of Israel, God's people. Unfortunately, Samson went over to the other side, as it were, and he married a Philistine woman, Delilah. And the Philistine leaders went to Delilah and said, can you tell us the secret of Samson's strength so that we can overpower him and get rid of him? Because really, he's causing us so much trouble. So Delilah asked Samson, oh, can you tell me, why are you so strong? And he said, well, it's because no one's ever tried to do anything about my strength. For example, if you tied me up with new ropes that have never been used, that would take away my strength. So she told the Philistine leaders, and while Samson was asleep, they came and tied him up with new ropes. And Delilah said, the Philistines are here. And he jumped up, broke the ropes and defeated those Philistines. So Delilah tried again. And he gave her a different excuse. And again, and he gave her a different excuse. And in the end, she said, if you really loved me, you'd tell me. So he explained that his strength came because he had obeyed God and he'd never had his hair cut. Well, of course, we all know what happened. When he was asleep, she got his hair cut. His strength went and he was captured and tortured and imprisoned. He was, in lots of terms, a failure. But failure is not final. And while he was in prison, his hair grew, of course, as we all know, in lockdown. And one day, when the Philistines had him brought out of his prison cell for their entertainment, he leant on the pillars of the building and brought it crashing down on them, killing all those Philistine leaders. So his earlier failure wasn't final. God could still use him. And the same is true for all of us, that if we acknowledge our failings and faults, 
and God is willing to forgive us and to give us a fresh start. Tomorrow is a new day with God. We don't have to be bound by our past mistakes, the wrong things we've said and thought and done, the things we know we should have done and haven't. God says if we confess and he is willing to forgive us, to cleanse us from all those wrong things and to give us a fresh start. And that's good news that failure is not final. God is willing to help us to be different tomorrow. A prayer. Thank you, God, our Heavenly Father, that you are willing to forgive. That when we come to you and acknowledge our faults, our failings, our weaknesses, our mistakes, you're willing to wipe them out and to give us a fresh start. Help us to live that way day by day so that we have the privilege of knowing that you can use us to bring in your kingdom here on earth. Amen. God bless you.